It's been a week since the chaos in Charlottesville, Virginia. A clash between white supremacists and counter protesters ended the life of 32 year old Heather Heyer. Tonight, the national conversation about racism continues and a community rocked by violence tries to move forward. Michael Quander has the story. Sometimes it might rain. We might feel some pain. It's hard to be here to stand near the spot where tragedy struck nearly seven days ago. It's been emotional. Um, you cried. I've cried. <laughs> I've cried. The being the Jackson comes back to 4th Street every day. It gives me peace so I can get over it. Her son was caught in the craziness of the crowd and had to jump out of the way when this car came barreling down the street and killed Heather Heyer. Her mother, seen here in this picture, crying at a vigil held for her today. When I heard the crash and I came to the scene, all I could think about was my son, and I'm like, oh my God, he's out there. So many others share similar stories about how last week's violence affected them. And I think coming here, like really seeing everything, it's really overwhelming. Counselors were on standby to help people talk through their feelings. Oh, he's so cute. And therapy dogs yeah, bring smiles, kind of even if it's just for a second. It was clear, people are coping in their own ways. And that's important to avoid serious and potentially dangerous outcomes like PTSD. People start to avoid and withdraw. Uh, they stay into themselves. They don't react in uh, socializing or sharing with family. Things this mother is paying attention to as she holds her son a little closer. I can't believe that it's happening here in my town. I can't believe it's happening here. Reporting in Charlottesville, Michael Quander, WUSA 9. A group of volunteer counselors are giving their time to talk to people who certainly need a listening ear.